hi everyone i don't have makeup on right now because i've just been crying all day i just wanted to come on here and give you guys i just wanted to give you guys some life advice on school because i know a lot of you are probably going into high school i mean going into university this year and i just want to give you some life advice from my experience so i went to university studying economics for the first year i went from straight from high school to university i studied economics for a year and then i just stopped going halfway through because i was going through a lot of stuff personally I really didn't know what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I feel like I just chose economics because I got in and I just need to go to university because that's what I was always told to just go there, study, get the marks, get the job. But I feel like I stopped halfway because I was not, I wanted, I didn't want it to be my future. I was learning. I was learning in class, I tried my best, but I was never good enough, and it's just, I couldn't imagine the, I couldn't imagine having, doing this as a career for the rest of my life, or else I'd be miserable. So, this is me, it's 2021 this year, and I finally decided to go back, and I was talking to my counselor, I have a meeting with her next week, and I find, I was I've been thinking about going back to school every day for the past years, but I always just put it off because I was comfortable in my situation that I was in, and there was always a big fear about going back because I'm like, oh my god, I've been away for so long. And to be honest, it's not only me. I know so many people that just dropped out and now are just trying to find their way back or haven't found their way back yet. I just want to share my story so that people that are struggling to go back have the courage to go back because it's never too late. But I just had to find the courage on my own. <laughs> Can't depend on anything, anyone. You have to only depend on yourself. For the longest time, I was always in my comfort zone, even like with all my jobs. I had a retail job, I worked there for five years, I was comfortable, and then I got another job, it was a family business, and I was comfortable. I was always comfortable, so I never felt the need to change because I was always in a comfortable position. But I can't grow if, you can never grow if you're not uncomfortable. In order to grow, you must get out of your comfort zone and go out so right now i think the re when i go talk to her on tuesday i think i'm gonna go back in january but right now i have september october november december i have five months before school because once i start school i only want to focus on school i've learned my mistakes i just want to prove to the school that i can do it i'm motivated i can get the marks Thank you for giving me a second chance in a way. So I have a choice of going back to my old job or making my resume and actually going out to find a job in the meantime. So I decided since I'm on this role of getting out of my comfort zone, I'm going to finish my resume today and I'm going to send them out tomorrow. And I don't like to be in uncomfortable positions. It's just not me, but... In order to grow, you have to. So I'm going to set out my resume. Because even my boyfriend was like, you can go back to your old job. Like, they'll still take you. But that's comfortable. I don't want to grow. I don't want to feel like I was stuck. For the longest time, for all these years, I always felt like I was stuck. But now I finally found some ground. And I'm going to keep up with this momentum. Sorry, I've just been crying all week. So bad. But it's just because I've been putting it off every single day of my life that now all the anxiety and all the build up is coming out and it's really hard. I just want to give advice to people that are going through the same thing as me because I know I'm not the only one. I know people that have dropped out for longer than me, but 
always found their way back. For example, I know this guy who works at my old job and he stopped halfway through. He's two years older than me, so he's 24. But I don't think, but he hasn't found his way back. He's still working the retail job. So it's never too late. I know people are 25, they're trying to find their way back. I know people are, no, 25 is probably the oldest person I know, but it's never too late. So I just want to let everyone, this is basically a message to everyone that's in the same predicament as me and who dropped out or stopped going to school because you had other things going on. I want to tell you that it's never too late. Just get out of your comfort zone. Do something you would never do today. For example, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get a job in the meantime. That's like a big step for me because for like so many years I was always stuck and comfortable. And I was content with it in the time, but now I'm just, I'm just happy I realized it before it was too late. So please, just get out of your comfort zone, go back to school, when, but don't force yourself to go back to school or else you're just wasting money because tuition's not cheap. I had to pay off the debt that I owed the school from my first year. The tuition's not cheap, but go back when you're ready. Just do something today. My message basically is do something today that will get you out of your comfort zone or else you'll never grow and you'll always be stuck in this same predicament and it's so you don't want to be stuck you want to grow as a person thank you so much for watching it's just my little message to you